She is at Billy and Mr. Bill's house at 6 a.m. Monday through Friday, 6 a.m., she is there. I never have to think twice about it. She comes in, she wakes them up with her cruise smile and her cruise spirit. Hello. Good morning. Hiya, lady. I was the clinical manager for Billy's case for many years. Um, I remember coming to the house. I loved going there, first of all. The Andersons are wonderful, wonderful people. I remember thinking, you know, sometimes the right person shows up at the right place at the right time. And for this family, it was Cruz. Billy is wheelchair bound. So that is a lift and a transfer for Cruz. And she gets him ready for day program. Mrs. Anderson told me that when Billy was born, the doctors told her, you can never have him home, you can't raise him home, he'll be too much for you. Mrs. Anderson told them um, over her dead body, she used that term a few times, um, and kept him home. When it was time for Billy to go to school, she fought the Board of Ed so that Billy could go to regular school, even for, for a short while, so that he could have that experience. She, she broke the mold. She was a force to be reckoned with. That's my wife before she passed away. Oh. She died in June. I'm so sorry. Right there, she yeah. was with the dog. When Miss Mary passed away, she showed up and she still came to work and she did her job, if not better than she did before, for Billy and Mr. Bill. What was your wife like? I miss the hell out of her, I know that. She was a little Italian girl from Long Island. She, uh, I knew I, I had problems uh, after our wedding, we passed Yankee Stadium, and she says to me, what's that? I said, hold me, mackerel, I got something going here. I hate the Yankees. Uh, I hope Mr. Bayard is not a Yankee fan. Billy gets picked up, goes to the day program around 8.39, around 9 a.m. That is Cruz and Mr. Bill time. We're gonna go to shopping. Is Cruz a good shopping partner? Oh. You wait and sing. You better have your running shoes on. <laughs> Cruz made it a point to take him out. The days that he would not get up, he would just stay in the sofa and not, not go anywhere, go to sleep. So Cruz would be the ones like, come on, Mr. Anderson, we got to go out. Let's go out. Let's go somewhere. So he would go with her to shop, to the park, go walk around, then come home. And then she did encourage him to talk about his wife and look at pictures and have those memories to allow him to grieve. At 11 a.m., Cruz goes back home for about three hours. She takes her break. And there's this one day where I asked her, I said, Cruz, what do you do on your break? She said, well, I clean the house and then I start cooking dinner. And I'm like, okay, Cruz, that's not a break, <laughs> but sure. I wonder sometimes, when does she care for herself? Because she's always working, she always cares for all the people. It doesn't face her. She's just a person who's like, no, we just have to care for people, that's what we do. And then at 2.30, she goes back to the house to Billy and Mr. Bill's, and she starts prepping dinner. Okay, we're gonna go tell her. You won national hero. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you won. No, no. You won for the whole year. I turn to Mr. Bill, and he goes, oh, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it this whole time. Of all the aids that I've dealt with since we've been dealing with Bayada and all the other agencies. Uh, I had nobody that would come close to Cruz. There's no second. She has never let me down in, in nine years. There was this one moment where Cruz locked eyes with Billy and she put her head on his head just to thank him. And I thought, oh man, we are doing it right. Like she deserves everything and more because she is thanking Billy when we're all just thanking her. Cruz deserves every ounce. every ounce of recognition every day.
because she keeps people safe, because she keeps people happy, and because her spirit never wavers in her job. A hero is somebody who puts the needs of another above their own. That's a hero. That's a real hero. So Cruz has my vote. She's beyond, beyond being a hero. She's beyond being, you know, our employee. She's just a great person. She's a great human being. She pushes me every day too, just seeing her and how she is and how selfless she is. They don't come like this anymore. So we, we cherish all we have. I think that Beata should be proud to have a caregiver like her. And that's why she deserves it. She deserves it all. I don't think that anyone could care for a client like Cruz does. I come in to do something for you. I'm happy to come. You are my best friend. Mm. You know that. You are not alone. You will never be alone. While I live, I'll be here with you. I would like you know, to, to, to have the, 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 the right words. Because it's hard. The other day, he told me, Cruz, I would like to walk. I, I didn't know what to say. Some people, we have legs, we have hands, we have everything. But you know what? They, know, they don't know how to use it. They don't know. They, know, they don't know what they have. But you are so beautiful. I am here with you. I am your legs. <laughs>